All right, guys. Today we're looking at a uh, new ransomware thing. I haven't really tested it yet, so uh, I'm really hoping it works out, and it should be pretty good. So let me get this all set up here, and I'll show it to you guys. Alright, so you, when you go to this page, you get this weird uh, attack thing like uh, Firefox. And it's basically saying that this site has been reported as an attack page, which is kind of interesting. And then it wants you to upgrade whatever browser you're using, in this case IE. So you click this big ol' install update button, and you get Internet Explorer Update.exe. Alright, save it to the desktop. Close that. Then you just run this, and waiting for something to happen. Well, it's running, that's a good sign. Guess we have to wait a minute. Still waiting on it to trigger. Still there. Still sitting there. I'm going to go ahead and try to reboot and see if uh, that can make it go any quicker. Oh shit, it is on like Donk Kong. Sort of like the... Uh... Sort of like the Windows activation thing, but it's red. That means it's serious fucking business. Let's see what we got going on. We got network crime. We have established that while surfing the internet, you are watching materials with pornographic content, including homosexual content pornography. Also, you were downloading unlicensed software, movies, and music. So they caught you with gay porn, movies, music, and probably a pirated copy of Windows. Damn. Found example on your personal computer will be served as material evidence in a court. And it says it found 19 files. Wow. Such law infringements in your country are prosecuted by the law and involve administrative and criminal liability. You will be charged big amount of penalty or deprivation of liberty up to five years. Who the hell says deprivation of liberty? Why not just say prison or the pen? of the big house, or something like that. This software is developed to fight cybercrime. After 24 hours of its installment, it will send all founded compromising evidence together with your personal details to a police department, and all content on your hard disk will automatically blocked until your arrest. This thing is going to backtrace you. You can completely uninstall current software, and we are promising that your personal details will not be unleashed. You will get full control over your computer and files. You gotta unleash the dragon with this thing. To uninstall current software and restoring full access to your personal computer, please press next. This is some hardcore shit. You guys remember that, uh, that fake, uh, BitTorrent piracy thing? It's sort of like that, where it's really just going after your, uh, money. It's gonna come straight at you and say, you know what? Give us your money now. So, of course, we're going to click Next. And now, to uninstall software, you need to do the following. And call one of these numbers, and it's going to cost you $0.7. And how do I make a call from a mobile phone? Okay, so now there's like eight or nine numbers. So, that's nice. How to make a call from a home phone? It's pretty much the same thing. 
My call can't get through. Keep dialing. And then it tells you to enter this code in and then get a activation key. Wonder if I can just do this. Oh, incorrect. That's a shame, really. And I'm sorry about uh, just using a regular computer for this. I wasn't sure if it would run in virtual machine well. But, you know, this is alright, right? I assume it's alright. So, you can't really uh, open up Task Manager. Let's see if you can boot in a safe mode. See what happens. Oh, oh shit. Well, there, there goes... Uh, there goes the shell, I guess. If there's some way to tab around it, that might work. But, let's go ahead and boot in a safe mode. Damn it. Gotta get that CD out of there. My bad. Alright, let's try safe mode. Sorry about the camera. My uh, tripod broke, so... Sort of doing this with a uh, DVD spindle. So, looks like it boots up just fine. And should find it in MS config. That's my guess. Nope. Is it a service? Probably not. Is it in app data? Does not appear to be. Let's try mine. Maybe it just runs straight from the desktop. Maybe I should just delete that. And it appears that just uh, deleting that file will uh, let you do whatever. It doesn't seem like it's going to run. So yeah, if you ever get infected with this, which you, you know, Probably won't. Wait, what file is that? IMAPI.exe? That was strange. Okay, anyway. If you ever get infected with this, which you most likely will not be infected by this, but if you do, you know, just go into safe mode, delete that file wherever it is, that Internet Explorer update thing, and then I'd recommend running a scan with Malwarebytes. But I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to reinstall XP on here and be done with it. And so that is it for this crazy network uh, ransomware thing.